Golem stream win? Oh, you know, I heard I heard Sheena today talking about a golem game. I didn't know that there was a golem game, but it does sound interesting to me. Do you, is it going to be a hard? That's what I'll look into the golem game. Oh, it's bad. It's terrible. It sucks. What? What has it got in its pockets? <laughs> Tenma streamed it. It's so it's not it's not it's not good. It's so bad. It's horrible. It's amazingly bad. Don't play. Is it bad in the way that I shouldn't play it? It's a good stream game of, oh no, please no. But it's got Golem in it, and I like Golem. Do we get to solve r riddles? Do I get to be a riddle master? Do you play as Bilbo? I want to be Bilbo. Watch a video on it first. It's so bad you should play. It's funny bad. I can't do the Golem cough. I wish I could. Go, 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 go. I can't do it. Did you guys know that Andy Serkis, the voice actor, he got inspired for how to do the golem noise by watching his cat spit up a, a hairball. So not every time my cat spit up a hairball, I'm like, it's golem, it's golem. Go, 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 go. <laughs> wait, wait, I had a thought. Now that we're on the subject of Lord of the Rings anyways, I had a thought, okay. Because you know, I've been going through the books again. Okay, so you know how Golem says that the ring is his birthday present from uh, his friend, I forget his name, who he actually, his friend actually found it and he killed his friend and he took the ring. And he says it's his birthday present, right? And we also know that Golem came from, basically that the hobbits came from the line of people, like he's an ancient hobbit. That's what I'm trying to say. Golem was like an ancient hobbit. Not qu not quite a hobbit. Oh, that's right. Deagle. It was Deagle. <laughs> Diego. <laughs> it was Deagle. It's an ancient hobbit, right? So they're, they're over, over the years related through evolution, right? Well, Tolkien believed in evolution. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> um, what was I, what was I saying? <laughs> A proto-hobbit, a proto-hobbit, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, but we know now that the hobbits of the Shire, on their birthdays, they give birthday presents to everybody else. They don't receive birthday presents, they give birthday presents away on their birthdays. And I wondered, it occurred to me the other day, as if I wondered if that was on purpose, you know? Maybe I'm looking in, maybe I'm reading into it too much. <laughs> but don't you think it feels kind of significant that this proto-hobbit, they used to get pre presents for each other on their, no, they used to get presents on their birthday. And then Golem uses the pretense of a birthday present to, in order to ease the guilt that he feels for murdering and stealing from his friend, right? But then the hobbits who end up saving the story, like Frodo, you know, because at the end it's a, it's really a battle between Frodo and Gollum, right? But Frodo, who ends up saving everybody, is a hobbit who would give other people birthday presents on his birthday. I don't know. I'm probably not the first person to think about it, and I might be reading into it. I don't know if it actually matters, but I just thought it was interesting. My fellow brothers, in the face of our common dangers, in this winter of our hardship, remember these timeless words. As we can. <laughs>